welcome back. looks mostly unexplored. It was charted. Once. Then the scourge happened. What's old is new. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Anomaly found. up something. Probe away. Anomaly found. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. Forget how small we are.
one day that might be true again. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Got a reading from the asteroid belt. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship.
Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 folds the Angari, is ice. And those oceans, frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Get out and push. Very funny, Ryder. Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold.
temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Secluded. Blizzard provides cover. Great for a hidden base. Where are we meeting the resistance team? Sent you the nav point. Good luck, Pathfinder. We need to talk to Commander Anyik when we arrive. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Life support is stable. Volunteers. Some of you were attacked by Ket. Most of you have lost family to them. When you stand across from a I'm reading a severe temperature drop. I love you. The you ambient temperature Laura? is normal. Life support is stable. I hear you have a very impressive vehicle, yes? We call it the Nomad. I'm an amateur mechanic myself. Build vehicles for my people. Upload this schematic for your mechanic, with my compliments. They can upgrade your vehicle shielding once you find the needed components. He lives for this shit and will make his day. My long lost brother. <laughs> you can find some of what you need here on Vold. The rest, out and about. attention to us. Yes, Michelle's explosion. She would have known exactly how to protect herself. She put her together.
Don't be foolish, Hana. Please be angry, grieve, rage, but please drop this. I'm Pathfinder Ryder, with the Andromeda Initiative, from... Wonderful. You're from far away. Do they have magical healing where you're from? Nothing more advanced than what you have. Then where you're from is useless to me right now. Stand over there. Dr. Harim, maybe Ryder can help us with the emergency caches. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. just came through and I need to see to them. Did they run into something out there? The cat are getting bolder. A band of them attacked our patrol last night. Our people managed to get out without much trouble, but I need to check them over. It's actually warm in here. Those heaters work pretty well. We don't use them for heat. They generate artificial sun, so we don't go dark. What do you mean, go dark? Right. I suppose you wouldn't know about that. Our bodies generate energy from sunlight. If we don't get enough, our immune systems weaken and our bioenergy slows. We go dark. It can't be easy living in a place like this. Between the cold and the lack of sun, it's tough to keep morale up. Most of us come from Aya or Haval, so it's a big adjustment. Immunity drops. People get sick. But if the civilians in the settlements can live here without complaint, so can we. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Jarl, have you come back to us? Briefly. And these must be the strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. <laughs> ah. This is my friend, Maisie. She helps supply the resistance. That must be difficult out here. Jarl's the brave one. How do you get supplies with the cat everywhere? The same way we came. There are caves and hidden paths all over Hold. It's hard to fly in, so my children run most items through the caves, little by little. Children? Their size makes it hard for the cat to detect. We all do what we can out here, even children. 
How do you feel about Ephra? Some speak ill of the man, but his plan is bold and the resistance is important. I'll do what I can to help until I can't help anymore. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need if we're going to stand any chance against the Ket. Maybe if you clear that Ket station on the South Road, I'd be able to bring in more and spare something for you. Good luck and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the Resistance. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. What are these symbols on the wall? My people worship here, in private. And I give the blessings. Would you like one? I'm a bit of a stranger to your faith. A stranger in all things, perhaps. The blessing is offered with simple goodwill. Why don't you practice religion in public? Those who are slaves to the Ket are forbidden to express their spiritual beliefs. We honor their isolation by practicing privately. Faith is also strongest when no one sees it. It would be an honor. I give you strength and courage, yet be clear your heart. How do you become a priestess? With great hardship. Only those who know darkness can lead others to light. I speak weakly words for those who seek them. They take my words to their families so that they all find the strength I once longed for. What do you believe? In the never-ending growth of a soul that is reincarnated within a family. A righteous action in this life begets enlightenment in the next. And with that, a stronger dynasty. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder. Good to see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. You must be Ryder. Jal told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. Thank you for allowing us into your base, Commander. Your actions display your soul's intentions. I hope you will join the fight against the Ket. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. That's why I came here. To help. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? How are you holding up against the Cat? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. 
If we want to beat the cat, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the commander needs recruits, we'll find them. I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. He's inspired the will to fight in so many of us. Jarl's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Ryder? That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. From this room, we keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. Pathfinder, something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. Your communications say otherwise. You haven't received a shipment in weeks. Those data pads are encrypted. How did you... <sighs> I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Ket. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way, no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. Ciao, my friend. Where decryption successful, out? Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a sub. Apply drop point. say the same thing. The Resistance is missing supplies.
Extreme cold is detected, but Pathfinder. I this next lo Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's the alien. The one that helped out on Havaro. Didn't expect an alien to help. They've mostly tried to kill and enslave us. So that's amazing. You are amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? The Angara have been wonderful to us, including yourself. So thank you. See? We're building bonds here to seek. So, what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Those red lights, you said that's Hajara? Yes, Hajara Station, one of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. How does anyone live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Visan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care, stay safe. You be safe too, Jala Madarov. As your sister recovered from her mission, she was brave. So brave. She is. Both recovered and brave. Thank you for asking. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. <laughs>